In this video, we will discuss about line to line fault impedance measurement by a distance relay. This is a three phase transmission line, and suppose a line to line or double L fault appears be between phase A and phase B, and the impedance of fault equals to 0. Now, this is the fault loop. Now the fault loop means in which path the fault current travels. Now as the fault appears between these two phase, so fault current will follow this path and this is our fault loop. Now from this diagram we can conclude that IA equals to IB because this IA current is going to fault and the same current return to source. So, this and these two currents are same. So, IA equals to IB and we assume that load current was 0 before fault. So, I, IC equals to 0. Now, in any transmission line Z1 equals to Z2. Z1 means positive sequence impedance whereas Z2 means negative sequence impedance. Now it is clear that during fault VA equals to VB plus IF into Z fault because voltage of this point equals to voltage of this point plus fault voltage that means voltage across the fault and voltage across the fault is fault current into fault impedance but as this is a dead short circuit so z fault equals to 0 so we can write v a equals to v b now as this is a double l fault or line to line fault so sequence impedance will connect in this way now we can write that v a equals to VA means voltage of this point equals to summation of three sequence components. They are VA1, VA2 and VA0. Or we can write VA equals to IA1 into Z1. Z1 means positive sequence impedance. Voltage, this is positive sequence voltage equals to this is V A 1 this equals to multiplication of I 1 and Z 1. Now for this part I A 2 into Z 2 plus I 0 into Z 0. V A equals to as I A 1 equals to I A 2. So, we will substitute value of I A 2 by I A 1, I A 1 and as in transmission line Z 1 equals to Z 2. So, we will write Z 1 in place of Z 2. Now, as this is a line to line fault and in line to line fault I0 or 0 sequence current is 0. So, this is so this part is 0 or we can write V A equals to 2 into I A 1 into Z 1. We will substitute value of I A 1 in terms of I A. I A means this current. Now, we can write I A 1 equals to this and in this case as these two currents are same but they are opposite in direction. So, I B equals to minus I A. So, I B equals to minus I A and I C equals to 0. So, we can write that I A 1 equals to one third of I A into 1 minus alpha and this alpha is alpha operator of sequence network. 
so we can write v a equals to 2 into 1 by 3 i a 1 minus alpha z 1. Now value of this equals to root 3 i a 1 minus alpha equals to root 3 because this means i a minus i a alpha. So, this is subtraction of these two vector. We want to know the value of i a minus i a into alpha. So, what is i a? This vector is i a and this vector is i a alpha. This alpha comes here because this is 120 degree leading from this vector and alpha square means this vector is 240 degree leading from i a. This is how we can calculate value of this i a minus i a into alpha. i a means this vector i a and i a into alpha is this vector and as we are subtracting, so we will draw in opposite direction in this way. So, as this is i a into alpha, this is minus of i a into alpha. That means, value of this vector equals to root 3 into i a. This is i a and this value is root 3 times of i a. So, we substitute value of i a into 1 minus alpha by root 3 into i a. Now, now we can write that v a equals to 2 by root 3 into i a into z 1. Now we want to know value of i a and z 1. Now i a equals to from this equation we can write i a equals to root 3 v a divided by 2 into z 1 and we can also write z1 equals to root 3 into v a divided by 2 into i a 1. So, this is the impedance measured by the relay. So, this is the value of z1 that means the value measured by distance protection relay and this is the fault current or i a. Notice that this is the fault current i a and this fault current i a is flowing through the fault loop. This is our fault loop. So, current i a is flowing through the fault loop and fault impedance is this. This is positive sequence fault impedance and this current is flowing through the loop because of this voltage. This is our driving voltage. This is our this is the voltage which is driving the fault current in this loop. Now, here there is one root 3. What is the meaning of this root 3? That means the voltage which is driving this fault is root 3 times of V a. Now, what is meaning of this? This means this is our source. This suppose this is one generator because there should be one generator uh, which will actually feed this fault. Now, actually this is connected in this way and notice that actual voltage which is driving this fault current is vector sum of these two voltage. So, this root 3 into V a means a phase to phase voltage is working to drive this fault current. This is happening here because this is a line to line fault. So, in every line to line fault, there will be a phase to phase voltage which will drive the fault current. Hope you understand this topic. So, thank you for watching this video.